Lines are drawn. Tensions are high right now in a local community over protests in the wake of the death of George Floyd. Yeah, this is all spilling over from a confrontation yesterday between Black Lives Matter demonstrators and counter protesters. Local 12's David Winter is live in Bethel tonight where people with baseball bats and firearms appear to be in no mood to hear what those demonstrators have to say. David, I can see you're there in the midst of it all right now. Yeah, there are probably about 200 people lining the streets and gathered here right downtown in Bethel. And you can hear an awful lot of yelling going on right now. There are probably only about 10 protesters or so, 10 demonstrators, but uh, they have created what has turned out to be quite a ruckus here. This all started yesterday. Take a look at some video that we have one of our viewers shot. another one. This video sent to us from a viewer shows things becoming less than peaceful as about 800 counter protesters met the 80 or so demonstrators ripping signs from their hands and in some cases there were assaults. It, it just totally breaks my heart to see the division that we had in this town yesterday. This local minister, he's closing his daycare early today. We just don't want our kids around here if all this stuff starts happening again today that happened yesterday. So you closed? We are closing early today. Yes, we are. This local protester on Bethel's main drag today showing her town she did not appreciate what she heard yesterday. They were throwing around the N-word like it was candy and it just upsets me. I have four mixed race children and I don't stand for that. To be inundated with the hate, it's overwhelming. Alicia G organized the demonstration. She says her sign with scripture was taken and destroyed. They just ripped it out of my hand. And then I picked up another one and they ripped it out of my hand. They need to get out of this city. This isn't the city to do it. Rumors today that busloads of Black Lives Matter protesters were coming to town brought out Nate Fox and his assault style rifle. Nate, what are y'all doing? Trying to protect our city. So I noticed you've got a semi-automatic rifle here. Yes, um, I do. Why do you feel compelled to wear it? Well, if anything happens that uh, I might need it, I got it on me. The mayor certainly hopes he won't need it, but says he's not surprised world issues have arrived in his small town. I think this is a nation thing. I think it's something that all small communities need to think about, and I think that they, they need to be you know, prepared to be involved to support the First Amendment. So no busloads of people arriving here today, but just about 10 demonstrators. And the police department here in Bethel wanted to make sure that they were prepared for what you're seeing here. So you can see there's Ohio State Highway Patrol. You actually even have fish and watercraft here. You've got the sheriff here. A lot of police that have come to make sure that the peace is kept right now. The only thing they've had to do is separate some people who were getting a little bit close together when they were yelling at each other. So right now, just a lot of yelling, no violence whatsoever, and a lot of frayed nerves, though. Reporting live from Bethel, David Winter, back to you. All right, David, an active scene out there in Bethel right now. We should note our Brad Underwood is also on the scene there. He'll have an update for us tonight at 10 and 11. Megan.